this is a critical incident community briefing about an officer-involved shooting that occurred March 30, 2020 at Reservoir and 3rd Streets in the city of Pomona. Pomona Police Corporal Chad Jensen located a fleeing suspect who was wanted for assault with a deadly weapon, with a sword being the weapon, that caused a four-inch laceration to the victim's head. The shooting occurred when the suspect pulled the 26-inch sword from his waistband and advanced toward the retreating officer. The shooting is the subject of three comprehensive and independent investigations by three entities. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department will conduct the criminal investigation. Once completed, the Sheriff's Department will submit their investigation to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office for review. The Pomona Police Department will also review the case to evaluate and determine if the use of deadly force adhered to the department's policies and procedures. No conclusions will be made until the investigations are completed. A word of caution, the images and language you are about to see and hear may be disturbing, especially to young viewers. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Police received a 911 call from a man who said the suspect had attacked him and injured him in the back of his head with a sword. Here is an excerpt from the call that was slightly edited to protect the victim's identity. 911 operator 57, state your emergency. I'm at the corner of San Antonio and, uh, and, uh, on a ring, and my brother just hit me with a sword in the back of the head. He hit you with a sword? Yeah. Okay, I need you to stop where you are so I can have an officer contact you. Did you need the paramedics? Um, yeah, you might need someone to check my head out. I don't know, he hit me hard with a sword. He's still in the area? He's walking like nothing happened. He's walking down the street. What direction is he walking? He's walking on, on, on San Antonio towards uh Is he northbound or southbound? He's heading towards Second Street. I don't know. I don't know the. I guess it would be What's southbound. What's he wearing? Color shirt and pants. He's wearing a, a, light, a light blue beanie, dark blue sweater, and blue and okay. blue pants. A few minutes later, the victim directed the officer to the location of the suspect. The street uh, uh, reservoir is right at the corner. He's at reservoir and what? He's down at the corner. He's almost making the turn to the right. Oh, there he goes. Okay, I got him. Stay here. Okay, be right back. Stay here. Looks like he's uh, going to be running southbound reservoir for a second. As the officer arrived, the suspect fled and attempted to conceal himself behind bushes. Here's the body-worn camera footage of the encounter. Stop, motherfucker! Stop! Now! Stop! Now! Let me see your fucking hands! Stop! 998, Pomona, 998, second in reservoir, 998. Give me medical aid over here now. Note the officer told him to stop and to show his hands. That's when the non-compliant suspect pulled the sword from his waistband and advanced toward the officer, taking steps forward, while the officer took several steps back. Here is a photo of the sword. Here are photos of the victim's injuries. Officers on scene made contact with him to ensure he was treated. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to make a full recovery. After the shooting, officers immediately called the Los Angeles County Fire Department to render medical aid. Unfortunately, the suspect succumbed to his injuries at the scene. The suspect was identified as 37-year-old Anthony Pacheco. It is currently unknown to what extent drugs or alcohol may have played in the suspect's behavior, as the toxicology results from the coroner's office are not yet available. The information in this briefing is based on a preliminary and ongoing investigation. Our understanding of the facts and circumstances may change as additional evidence is collected and analyzed. It's important to note that officer-involved shootings are extremely rare in the city of Pomona. In the past 24 months, the Pomona Police Department has responded to more than 262,000 calls. During that time, there have been two officer-involved shootings. The job of a police officer is difficult and dangerous. As this case demonstrates, officers often must react to unpredictable circumstances, sometimes in a fraction of a second. 
It is a tragedy whenever there is an officer involved shooting. For the families of those involved, for the officers, and for the police department. Thank you for watching this critical incident community briefing.